This lesson is for section 9.5, factor by grouping. So today's target is to factor by grouping certain terms together. Now I want to just review real quick. Uh, the first two problems here ask us to factor out the GCF. Remember how we learned in class that if we have the same exact thing in these two terms, this would be our GCF here, and if we pull out that GCF, we'll put that in, set, in a set of parentheses, left over after we factor out that 5x plus 1 from this term here, I'd have 6x left. So I'm going to put another set of parentheses, I'll have 6x from the first term, and then here after I pull out that 5x plus 1, I'll be left with negative 7. So 6x minus 7 is going to go in the other set of parentheses. So here I factored out that GCF, there would be my answer. Same thing goes for number 2, except for number 2, it's just a little bit different after we take out that GCF of 5m plus 2. So this is what they, both terms have in common. Here, when I rewrite what, what's left over, from the first term I'm left with 2m. In the second term, remember, there's an invisible 1 in front of that set of parentheses, so we have a negative 1 left over. So 2m minus 1 is what I would put inside the other parentheses, and there's my answer. Now I started off um, showing you guys uh, these two review problems because it's kind of similar to what we're going to see when we factor by grouping. So the idea when you factor by grouping, here we've got four terms, right? We're always going to see four terms when I want you guys to factor by grouping. And you're going to group two of the terms together, the first two terms. So we group the first two terms. In this case, those first two terms are 3x cubed and negative 9x squared. So what I'm going to do is look at just these first two terms, and I'm going to take out the GCF. So the GCF between 3x cubed and negative 9x squared would be 3x squared. That's what they both have in common. That's the greatest common factor. Now I factor it just like we normally would when I take out the GCF. So I look at this term here, I'm taking out 3x squared, so that's 3 divided by 3, that would give me 1. If I start with x cubed and I'm dividing it by x squared, that means I'd have an x to the first left. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the second term. Negative 9x squared, I'm going to divide it by 3x squared, that would leave me with negative 3. Okay, so right now I have 3x squared times x minus 3, which if I were to multiply it, I'm not asking you to multiply it back out, but if you were to distribute that 3x squared, you would end up back right here, okay? Now, we group the first two terms, and then we're going to group the last two terms, 2x and negative 6 here. So again, we group the first two terms, and then after you factor out that GCF, group the last two terms. Okay, so <clears throat> now for the next set of terms here, the GCF between 2x and negative 6 would be a positive 2. So I'm going to pull out a positive 2. Notice the sign here in between is plus 2. Okay, now after I pull out that positive 2, I'm left with x minus 3 on the inside. Again, I'm dividing 2x by 2, that gives me an x. Negative 6 by 2, that gives me negative 3. Now I want you to take a look at what we have right here. Okay, this problem right now, as it looks, is basically just like the problems that we started with, numbers 1 and 2. Notice we have in parentheses the exact same term, x minus 3, okay? And we know that if we're trying to factor out that GCF here, well, x minus 3 is the GCF. I can pull out x minus 3, put it in a set of parentheses, and then I can take what's left over, this 3x squared, and this positive 2 here, so 3x squared plus 2, I'm going to pull those together, and this is my factored expression. So when you see four terms, okay, originally we saw four terms here, our goal is to group the first two together, take out the GCF, rewrite what we have left over, in the second two terms do the exact same thing, take out the GCF, write what we have left over, and if you're doing it correctly, you're always going to see these two terms on the inside of the parentheses, they'll be the exact same. You pull that out, and then you repeat exactly what we've done before. So now we're just basically adding an extra step, okay? So let's try this now on number three. All right, now in example three, I noticed there's actually a typo here. If it's not already changed on your note sheet, can you go ahead and just make this here a positive three, okay? Plus three. Okay, so um, let's go back to factoring by grouping. What we want to do when we see four terms here is group the first two terms together. Okay, I'm going to group 10x squared and negative 5x, and I'm going to take the GCF out of 10x squared and negative 5x. That GCF would be 5x. Okay, 
Now, after I take 5x from 10x squared, I'd be left with 2x. So I'm dividing 10x squared by 5x. That leaves me with 2x. When I take negative 5x and I divide it by 5x, it's not 0. Remember, you have a placeholder here. 5x divided by 5x is 1, but we still have that minus sign in between, so it's minus 1 here. Okay. Now, for the next two terms, the last two terms here, we do the same thing. We group these two terms. Okay. So now we're done with looking at the first two. It's already, you know, uh, we've already worked on it. This is what we'd be left with. So now we focus on the next two terms here. And notice that this lead coefficient here is negative. So what I want to do is pull out that negative. And it happens also, so it happens to be the um, GCF here is 3. So we're going to pull out a negative 3. Okay, so again, we look at the GCF between two, both terms. This time it's a negative 3. Once I pull out negative 3, let me erase. It's kind of a lot going on here. I'm going to divide negative 6x by negative 3. That would leave me with a positive 2x. Now, when I take 3 and I divide it by negative 3 here, I'm going to end up with a negative 1. Okay, now if you notice, again, look at what's inside our parentheses. See how we have the exact same thing in both sets of parentheses? That's good. If I don't end up with the exact same thing in both sets of parentheses, something is wrong, and I need to go back and figure out what I did wrong. Okay, so we have to make sure that these are the same. That's a way for you to check to see if you're on the right track. If they're not the same, something's wrong. Okay, now we're back to where we started. Um, you know, when we first learned how to, how to factor a GCF out, this is just like problems 1 and 2 on the top. Um, all we need to do is take out that GCF, 2x minus 1, from each of these terms. And when we take out this 2x minus 1 from the first term, our 5x would be left over. And when we take out 2x minus 1 from the second term, this negative 3 here would be left over. So this is our factored expression for these four terms right here. If I were to multiply all of that back out and then simplify, I'd actually get this exact same expression. Okay, Okay. now in example 4, uh, let's try this one more time. We see four terms, and we're going to go ahead and group the first two terms together. Okay, let's take out the GCF of those first two terms. The GCF here is 3x. When I take out 3x from 3x squared, all I'm left with is x. And when I take out that 3x from negative 12x, I'm left with negative 4. Okay, now in the second set of terms here, so we've, we've factored on uh, the first two terms, now we move on to the second set, these two terms here x minus 4, here you see that there is no GCF, right, other than 1. Well, you're, you're actually going to pull something out. We don't want to pull nothing out. We always want to make sure we pull something out. So we're going to pull out a positive 1 from this, okay? And we're going to write what we have left over. If we divide x by 1, we'll still have x. And if we take negative 4 and we divide it by 1, we'll still have negative 4. So that's how we end up with the right form here. If you don't see a GCF, pull out at least a 1, okay? It could also be a negative one, and we'll see some examples like that in, in our classwork tomorrow. But make sure you at least pull out a positive one, okay? All right, now we're right back to uh, like the first two problems in the review. We now want to look at what both of these two terms have in common, and they just so happen to have in common this x minus 4. So we know we're doing it correctly because we see the exact same thing in both sets of parentheses. So what I'm going to do is pull out that GCF x minus 4, put that in parentheses out in front, and then I'm going to rewrite what I have left over after I pull out that x minus 4. So if I take this first term and I take out that x minus 4, I'd be left with 3x. And if I look at my second term here, and if I pull out that x minus 4, I'd be left with plus 1. So there is my final answer here for factoring those four terms by grouping. All right, uh, that was a little bit longer of a lesson. Uh, tomorrow we're going to get a lot of practice with this because I know it's a little complicated, but nice job. I'll see you guys in class tomorrow.